Hey everyone, Ryan with Nine Month College Grad. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to pay for college if you don't have money to pay for college. So if you're thinking, oh man, this video is for me, guess what, you're not alone. I literally talk to people every day who stress and worry about paying for school, many of which just assume that they will never be able to afford a degree which is simply false. There are lots of ways to pay for a college degree, and that's what I'm going to show you right here in this video. Now, I will tell you up front, I'm not discussing every single detail of paying for college. I'm talking about the main steps you need to take in the beginning, and for a good majority of you, following these steps will lead to you having school paid for. So yes, there are other ways to pay for school, uh, but no, most of you won't need to use anything that I don't talk about here. So let's jump over my board. I've written them down so I can remember, and we're jumping in, okay? Number one, this is the obvious one, okay? Federal grants. If your income is below a certain mark, the government will pay for you to go to school. Now. It's as easy as going to Google and searching for FAFSA, F-A-F-S-A, -S okay? You click on their website and you apply for a grant. They're gonna ask you which school you're applying for a grant for, so you need to make sure you choose the school beforehand. If you've watched my other degree hacking videos, uh, I show you how to find a really, really good school. If you haven't, you can reach out to me and ask me which schools are the best for graduating very quickly. So, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this. If you have not applied for a federal grant, do it, because guess what? Way more people are approved than you could possibly imagine. There's a very, co there's a very good chance uh, that you qualify for a federal grant. And if you do, you essentially don't have to pay for school aside of like a few dollars in taxes and stuff like that. So instead of tens of thousands of dollars, it's like a few hundred dollars. So grants work out really well. Now, number two, this is huge because people think, oh, I got denied for a grant, I can't go to school. Or people think, guess what, I used my grant, I went to school and I dropped out and now they don't wanna give me another grant so I can't go to school. No, okay, no. If you're thinking that, you need to take this second step, okay? And this second step is to choose your school, okay? And then call on the phone or walk into the financial aid office of that particular college. Because guess what? Colleges make money when you get grants and scholarships. Because those grants and scholarships that you get go straight to the college. So they have full-time employees to help you qualify for grants and scholarships. So call or walk into your financial aid office and literally just tell them your situation and they will help you find ways to get school paid for, okay? Ask them about state grants because guess what? Yes, the FAFSA, the main government grant, the federal student loan, or the, the federal grant, excuse me. Even if you don't qualify for that, each state gives grants as well. So wherever you live, whatever state you live in, you might be able to get grants from them. Your financial aid office would be the ones to guide you in the right direction. Next, ask them about school scholarships. Which scholarships do, does your school offer and how do I qualify for those scholarships? Super simple, local scholarships, whatever school you go to, they will have all the ties with local companies that are giving out scholarships that their students can qualify for. So ask them about those, okay? Now, this is, this is the easiest way to find a route if this doesn't work, okay? And this, I'm talking about grants and scholarships, but if for some reason you can't get any grants, you can't get any scholarships, which you can, you just gotta try, but let's say you don't have the time, you just work too much and you would rather take out a loan or something like that, okay? 
I suggest getting an outside student loan. Now, some colleges offer student loans. Also, you can go to Google and search for student loans and you're gonna get lots of student loan companies that offer student loans. Well, a lot of times, and you gotta do your homework because it, this isn't 100% true, but probably 90, 95 plus percent of the time, the school's student loans and student loan companies' loans have higher interest rates than what you can get at your own bank, okay? So an outside student loan means go to your bank and ask them, what kind of rates can I get for a student loan and what does that look like, okay? Literally, you're walking into your bank. Now, if you're really financially savvy, what you're gonna do is you're gonna try three or four or five banks and compare their prices and shop their deals and see who will give you the best deal on a student loan. Okay, it's literally like buying a car, okay? When you're buying a car, you go look at several cars and find the one that's best priced. Not every student loan has the same interest rate, okay? Go to your bank and talk to a professional and ask them what they can do for you and what they can offer you, okay? So if, you, if you're getting the theme of this video, it's stop trying to do it on your own and ask people for help, okay? Financial aid office is staffed with people willing to help you learn how to pay for college. You go into your bank, guess what? There are bankers that will teach you about student loans and how to get them. Now, talking about student loans, here's what I'll say. We've been trained our whole lives. College is extremely expensive. It's tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars. Student loans are extremely scary, right? Well, moving on to number four, if you can't afford college, degree hacking makes college so, so much cheaper. It's absolutely ridiculous, okay? So it literally saves tens of thousands of dollars on tuition. So when you're walking into a bank and you're all nervous about loans, well, going to school for four to six years Maybe that leaves you with $100,000 in debt. But if you're using degree hacking, like I teach in, in my videos, you're talking just a few thousand dollars instead of tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars. So if you're granted a student loan and you only have to borrow a very small amount of money, guess what? Your monthly payment, first off with student loans, most student loans, you don't have to make a single payment until you graduate. Okay, but if you don't borrow a large amount of money, if it's just a small sum of money, your monthly payment, when those payments do start, is going to be, I mean, just really, really affordable. And guess what? Once we have that diploma, we qualify for the pay raise. So when, when we get the better job, this student loan can get paid off like in a matter of a few months instead of the national average, which is 21 years to pay off a student loan. The average person takes 21 years to pay off their student loans, okay? With degree hacking, like your loan will be so much smaller, you'll pay it off in a matter of months instead of decades, okay? So if you would like to learn more about degree hacking, go to diplomasecrets.com, diplomasecrets.com plural, diplomasecrets.com, and I've got a full training that teaches you what degree hacking is and how to use degree principles to earn your degree in as little as six months. So go to diplomasecrets.com and I'll teach you all about degree hacking in a video just like this, okay? Now, I'm glad you're here. I'm so glad you're interested in earning your college degree faster. If you need any help, as always, feel free to reach out to me. I'm not hard to find online. Uh, you can leave comments in the comment section or you can stalk me on Facebook, send me a message, however you wanna do it, uh, I'm here to help. So if you, need, if you need help, come to me, go to diplomasecrets.com. I'll teach you everything you need to know about de degree hacking and I will see you in the next video.